Hey, what's going on everybody? Just wanted to quickly introduce this video by saying if you're interested in joining the community, uh, down below in the video description, I have a link to join my Discord. When you join the Discord, you'll be brought to this welcome page. You can click on become a member, or over here on the left side, you can click become a member, react to this emoji. Uh, this is just agreeing to some terms and services of our Discord server. Once you agree and become a member, you'll have all the members channels. Uh, if you have any ideas for the YouTube channel, you can click on members ideas. If you are having issues with the Discord, you can click on member support and react to this emoji. The cool thing about this server is it's fully modular to your likings. We're not just Rocket League here. We're bigger than just Rocket League. We do Rocket League, Fortnite, Minecraft, coding. And the reason why this server is modular is because all you have to do is come in here, react to the topic you like, and you'll be put in a category corresponding to the topic you liked. And if you decide you want to leave, just unreact and you'll be brought out of those channels. So of course we've been on the topic of flips and flip cancels and delayed flicks. I want to talk about something that doesn't involve necessarily a flick or a flip, but saving our flip. And so I kind of hinted at it. I was going to possibly do a tutorial on the pogo. And so when we're going for a pogo shot, if you don't know what that is, that's when we go off the ceiling and then we bounce our car off the ground and that allows us to kind of keep our, our position in the air. And so if I were to pass myself the ball right now, you'll see that I have a flip saved. Because of course when you fall off the ceiling and you don't use your flip, you'll save that flip. Now there's many different ways of going about the pogo. Um, if you watch people that freestyle a lot, usually they will go for the front end of their car as the bounce off the ground. I believe that the front end of your car provides the best bounce shown in that like previous example. But something I often went for when I was learning the pogo was kind of these back end bounces. And yes, that does not bounce me off the ground very well, it still allows you to bounce and keep your flip. This will be a mechanic that is very difficult to learn and this is one that I am still learning myself and I kind of like doing these tutorials because while I am showing these mechanics, I'm also kind of learning myself better ways to improve on them. So I'll start out by showing this backward or where you kind of land on the back side of your car for a pogo. So you want to lean back just enough to where your spoiler, kind of like your spoiler and your back like brake lights are. And when we do that, and we'll hold down boost, you can kind of bounce back up off the ground. And you know you're leaning too far forward, so too far forward being like this, because your wheels are gonna hit and your car is just gonna flop down. That's kind of one of the frustrations in learning this is you really have to be hitting your car in the perfect position. And if you're leaning too far back, of course you'll kind of flatline on your back like that. So it's really trying to find that midpoint, kind of like the corner of the hitbox. And that's gonna be like right between your spoiler and your like your brake lights, I'll call them. And so you can see here, we just got a bounce and we saved our flip. But of course, that is not necessarily the best bounce. If you're in game, it's kind of impractical to go off the wall like the, or off the wall onto the ceiling, bounce, and with that little tiny bounce can serve enough boost to go for a shot. Although yes, it's still a pogo, you kind of want a bounce that's going to bring yourself further up into the air. And so to go for something like that, it's quite a bit more complex and it's something you have to take into practice and find what works best for you. What works best for me is trying to hit almost around where the front grill and the like the wheel cover, the top right of my car, that wheel cover kind of is. I try and hit almost the corner of my car. And so I'll go for one here. So I'm hitting the corner of my car right there. And that wasn't the best bounce off the ground, but we still managed to recover it to keep our, our flip. So I'll try and get a better bounce. And the faster you boost towards the ground, the faster your bounce usually will be. And so that one, I was too flat. I kind of hit directly on the front of my car. You want to have kind of an angle to your hit. And that one was a little bit better, but you can see that these aren't something that is 
consistent. You kind of, it, it can be consistent if you practice it enough, but going for these pogos is really difficult. So let's try and get one more that's a little bit better. So there we go. That was a much better bounce that I got there. And so you can see by better bounce, I mean, I'm bouncing further up into the air, meaning I have to spend less boost in the air to get back to the ball. And so a practical use case, I'll try and show kind of, I won't score it, but I'll show an example of why someone would go for this. So I'll go for the ceiling shot and then the pogo off the ground. And I got a really bad pogo there, but in a, Best case scenario, you get a good height on the pogo and you maintain a position close to the ball and that allows for you to follow up with the pogo. So I'll just be blunt in saying that I think the pogo is a very um, impractical kind of shot to go for. Yes, it can be mastered and there are various pro players and freestylers that can pogo consistently and if you get it down consistently it can become a practical shot but i just want to focus on how it's done and showing people and enlightening people on mechanics that can be done and exist in the game so the next mechanic i want to talk about is i don't even know what it's called <laughs> i i will say i don't know what it's called I will tell you once again, I think this is a pretty impractical one. It can be used for fun and uh, it can be used in different freestyle scenarios. It can also be used in dribble scenarios. But this is almost like a delayed lick off the ground to get yourself going into the air. And I won't even try and explain it, I'll just try and show an example right now. So as you can see, we go turtle mode <laughs> and we are front flipping into the ground but we're essentially delaying a front flip against the ground and when we let go of our cancel or delay the flip we are flipping ourselves off the ground up into the air and so i will try my best to show examples but i'm going to be focusing more on the motion of doing it and how to do it on keyboard and mouse so of course, we're gonna start out by jumping and going into turtle mode. So jump and Q. And we're going to boost down towards the ground when we do this. So we'll jump, go turtle, and then boost down towards the ground. And once we hit the ground, immediately when we hit the ground, we're going to front flip with W and cancel it as fast as we can with S. So we'll do that motion. And if you get that down, that one I did not boost down towards the ground. You can see that we're kind of staying turtle on the ground. But when we incorporate the delayed flick into this, this kind of pops us up into the air. So there I was showing examples of just canceling the flip. So now I'm going to try and show an example of delaying the flick. So we're going to boost down, delay, and then you can see it popped us up into the air. But we'll boost down, we'll cancel our flip and then let go of our cancel, uncancel as I've been saying, and that will flick us up into the air. And so that was a good pop you can see there, and that's all dependent on timing and when you uncancel your flip. So once again, we're gonna jump, turtle, boost down, front flip, cancel that flip, and then uncancel. So I'll try and show yet another example of this. So we'll jump, turtle front flip jump turtle front flip cancel and then i did not um uncancel my flip in time there so cancel uncancel and you can see it popped us up really high into the air that time and so this is again kind of an impractical mechanic but it's something that can be used in freestyle and i'll show some examples i was messing around with this in a freestyle training pack the other day and so that's why i thought of this tutorial on doing this mechanic so for this last part of the tutorial, I wanted to talk about some aerial mechanics that you can use to make your freestyles or aerials look a little bit cooler. So of course, a common thing freestylers love to do is rotate with, um, in our case on keyboard and mouse, Q. So going for an aerial while holding Q the whole time tends to be something that makes the shot look a little bit cooler, a little bit more flashy. 
And so to practice this, um, this is a custom training map. If I go into browse, it was down here as, uh, let's see, freestyle by white ninja. It's the same shot, just 40 times. It allows you to practice some of these mechanics. And so I think a good way to practice rotations and keeping um, rotations while in the air, this is something that this training pack can help do. Along with this, let the mirrors ring map or other kind of aerial maps, like where you're trying to get through um, obstacle courses. Those can be really useful when you're learning how to try and stay in the air. Another thing to do is just try and hover around the map. Hold Q the entire time or E, whichever one you're more comfortable with, and try and hover around the map without touching the ground. This is something that is simple, but it can actually be really helpful because it teaches you how to continue rotating with Q while realigning yourself to stay in the air. So as you can see, I kind of use different buttons like S, W, D. I use these buttons in times when I need to correct my positioning in the air to stay forward. So along with rotating with just Q, of course, you've probably heard of the tornado aerial. And the tornado aerial is something like this. That's tor tornado aerial. I've kind of gone over before, but nothing like this. It's tornado aerial is holding Q and D. So it's we went over it in the breezy flick, but we'll hold Q and D. And that kind of gives us that weird tornado rotation of course, if you're more comfortable, I've been realizing lately that there's a lot more people comfortable with rotating with E, which is weird to me because I've always used Q. But you, of course, can go about it the other way. Oh my gosh, it's like weird to even think about. But um, I can't even do it. <laughs> you can do the same thing with A and E. A and E is going to be the same concept. I am just more comfortable with Q and D. I'm <laughs> clearly far more accurate and better at doing this. But once again, a practice training map like this, these can really help you in learning how to kind of aerial in a direction using tornado aerials and readjust with like S and Q. Along with that, just like I said, with holding Q the whole time, you can tornado aerial and try and practice just staying above the ground, hovering and training, just going around the map. And these are just some different aerial, um, aerial styles I'll call them and of course I wanted to show an example and this is what brought me to that the previous mechanic where we kind of um, lip delay off the ground and so I was doing this in this training pack where I go for this flip delay and pop myself up and then I go for a shot and so this training pack is also really helpful in trying to get this flick down you can see sometimes you flip a little bit like higher Sometimes you flip lower, sometimes you don't go as far, sometimes it's just, it's kind of random, but it's fun to mess around with. And this is just a simple, me it's not a really simple mechanic, it, I will say it's difficult, but when you get it down, it's fun to go for these types of shots and just mess around with them. And the goal of this series is to kind of just show some mechanics and just so people can learn something new and have fun with them, try and use them on their own and find their own ways of going about it. And just like I mentioned, um, this is the Lethemir's ring map. So I recommend if you're trying to learn to tornado aerial, incorporate Q the whole time you're aerialing, getting some like rotations in, this is a great map to help you get started with this. So try and push yourself in training, like I said, to hover around off the ground and maintain your position in the air without landing while holding Q the whole time. This can also be done in this map, and this is a lot more complicated and helps you more, I would say, than just sitting in training, rotating around above the ground. But this is definitely a map that you can learn how to become more comfortable with rotating in the air and going for rotational aerials, or um, this next one I can try and show some tornado aerials. Tornado aerials on these maps are a little bit harder. Um, but I can try and see if I can get through this one maybe with some tornado. Oh man, yeah, it's so much readjustment that it's kind of hard. 
But of course, you can see even I am like, I this is a learning experience for me, and I have quite a quite a few hours in this game. So there's always room for improvement, always ways to learn and get better at your mechanics and gameplay. And so with that said, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it helps somebody at least. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if you like my content and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It'll help me out. If you're interested, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you're interested in joining the community, we are more than just Rocky League in my Discord. Uh, the Discord link is down in the description and you can feel free to join.